Hey everybody, it's Stan, aka Vim Losses, and today we are back with another review here at Vim's Toy Box. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Universe Play Arts Kai variant Spider-Man. Now I've been taking a look at these guys for a while and I've never had one before. Um, and I just love the designs of them. I love the variant line because they're so cool. Um, if you know anything about me, you know that my favorite line is the uh, Tamashi Nation's Bandai Samurai line, you know, with the um, uh, the Stormtroopers and the Captain Americas and all that, just because they're so cool. They're different. I like different. So when I saw these guys, I was a little interested, but I heard that their articulation was kind of poor, um, and that's no good for posing, even though they may look cool. Um, but I've heard they've improved, and I know this is an older model, so I figured, hey, what better place to start than with one of these? See if I like them, and if I do, I have a feeling this may become my favorite line of toys uh, so we're gonna take a look at spider-man today so taking a look at the box now if I was a box collector this would be one I would keep because the artwork on here is so cool I mean look at that he's, he's flying through he's got the stuff coming out he just looks awesome now I don't collect boxes so as soon as I get him out of here this box is going into garbage yeah I know but that's where it's gonna go um, but either way the front has this really amazing artwork on it now I can't have it on my rotating base because this box is so big um, and we can't even really get it all in the shot here but I'll do what I can on the side you see it just says Marvel Universe variants play arts Kai on the back it's got some cool artwork it's got him into black and white over here got him standing there looking all mean and menacing bunch of stuff down here on this side kind of a continuation of that front artwork and now if you open it up it's kind of held in by magnets there you open it up take a look you can see the actual figure in here over here it's got another really cool promotional shot with a long long bio man that's a lot of reading I'm not gonna do that let's get him out of the box take a look and see what we got all right and here he is all out of the box and man he looks cool as shit um, but I can tell just after getting him out of the box and kind of tinkering around with him a little bit that I'm probably going to get frustrated with some of the articulation. It's not to say that it's bad. It's actually got really good articulation. Um, he's just kind of a pain to to stand. Um, it took me a while just to get him in this pose. And as you see, this pose yeah, isn't all that great. Let's be honest here. Um, but I have a feeling it's just going to be me playing around with it and figuring it out. I don't think it's anything bad. It's just, it's something new for me. So it's going to take a little bit, but first impressions, man, this thing is fantastic. All right. Um, you notice I didn't get him on my stand just because, well, he is a lot taller than the six inch figures that I usually review. Um, and my table's a little wobbly. I got to get this fixed. See that? Eek, eek. Um, so he has a tendency to fall down and I didn't want him to do that. So let's take a closer look at the details, dive in. And there's a lot to look at and really see what's going on with him. All right. And taking a look at the details, man, there are so many details to look at in here. Um, just everywhere like i said i'd love this kind of stylized version and this variant is just beautiful to look at i mean the sculpting work is just phenomenal all these little lines in here are sculpted in none of that is actually just paint it's all sculpt i love the sharp lines that it he looks so angular and just so mean i mean golly take a look at that Man, now you do get some gappage in here. Now this top piece is actually kind of a, it's a soft rubbery material. You guys can see that, or it does kind of move. And that helps with the articulation a little bit. Um, and it does frustrate me just a hair, because you know, you do get some of this gappage in here. Um, but you know what, for something like this, I, I'm okay with it, um, just because it looks so cool. I mean, the paint, is just awesome i mean you look in here he's got this nice like um carbon fiber kind of texture going on and it's red with the black and he's got the blues and the silvers and just everything about this is just beautiful some some silver sprinkled in here um got a little bit of paint smudge 
right here on his knee on his kneecap um, but again I, i'm not too concerned with that just because when he's standing there looking like this just all mean as shit you aren't going to notice that um, but i i love the design of this this is this is really beautiful um he's not your standard spider-man all sleek and slick but he is definitely pretty damn awesome i mean again it's, it's details everywhere now if you're the kind <clears throat> that likes to hide joints and stuff these you know elbows are gonna drive you insane because you can clearly clearly see that and then when you start posing him around you do get some big gaps in here um, but again um, it, you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it and I gotta tell you uh, I think I'm in love right now because this is I mean it's beautiful the eyes I like how they kind of went with a, a silver instead of a white and then all the painted inside the web work is all nice and silver painted uh, as well as sculpted in there he's got some great little wrinkles kind of throughout these legs are just awesome look at that web work and that's just so beautiful and man, man oh man this is nice this is definitely very very nice i like the spider work you know spider work oh, jesus the, the spider kind of design back here it's not you know clean and round it's very angular and very crisp same as on the front uh, that looks fantastic now again this is that soft rubbery so that does kind of get out of the way uh, but just the overall detailed look and execution on him is just i mean it's beautiful you, you can't tell me you can look at this and say yeah i don't like that at least I can anyway. I mean, golly, that looks awesome. And he is going to look fantastic in some pictures. And it's, and just sitting up on the shelf, man. Because you don't see Spider-Man like this very often. So this variant line from Play Arts Kai is just is, is beautiful. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to become my favorite line. Um, now, there are a few problems with the articulation. We'll get over that when we get to that point. Uh, but overall, man, it, it's just beautiful to look at this is a piece of art man awesome i know i keep saying that but whew, if you haven't held one of these in your hands you should this is uh, this is amazing uh oh god everywhere all right i better stop or else this video is going to be like three hours long me just pointing out all the little details needless to say it's beautiful amazing great job on the paint great job on the sculpt everything is just fantastic got a tiny little butt though Eh. oh well but sculpt paint details all look amazing all right taking a look at the articulation now this was the main point of why i hadn't looked at these guys earlier because i heard their articulation was not all that great um but gotta be honest it's pretty damn good uh so let's take a look at the head now he does have a double joint, one in the head and one in the neck, so he can look down quite a bit. He can look up quite a bit as well. He can, of course, rotate, and he gets really good pivot. Now, in the arms, this is where this rubber piece kind of comes into play. Uh, it can come up all the way up to here, and you notice that that's kind of getting out of the way there as it goes up. So... I mean, he can get his arms whew, way up there. And we can kind of take a look and see what's going on in here. He's got this nice ball joint, which sticks in here. But because of this is rubber, it does get out of the way of everything else. He can spin all the way around. Now these shoulders, again, because this is all rubber, he can kind of come forward. And that just kind of pushes that piece out of the way. So he gets some great across his body. Look at that. Really good. And he can go back just a little bit. Not as much as maybe I would like on a Spider-Man especially. Um, but pretty good. Does have upper arm rotation followed by this single joint in the elbows. Which gets up to there just about 90. No lower arm rotation. And the hands do pivot. And they can either go up or down or depending hinge in and out that way. Now in the body... He does have, I can't tell if there's a joint down here. There may be, yeah, there is. 
It does have the abdomen joint in here, which can go back about they, you, they far, yay far. But what happens on mine is this plastic piece gets tucked back in there, and then it's kind of a pain to get it back out. There we go. You see that piece is supposed to be out, but as soon as you bend them forward a little bit, you get that huge gap, and then it wants to kind of tuck behind there. Um, but you can look bend forward that much. Can get back about yay far. Now combine both joints, both the waist and the upper abdomen. And you can crouch forward about that much. Not that great for a Spider-Man figure. I was hoping it would be a little bit more. Now in the legs, here's where the biggest disappointment is on this guy. Is he can't split out all that much. He can only get to about there. Which is not great for a Spidey figure. I expected it to be a lot more. There is very little upper leg rotation, but he can really kick forward. Wait, look at that. Like I said, no upper leg rotation, but he does have double jointed knees, so he can get all the way up to here and kick his own ass, basically. No lower leg rotation at all, which I wish there was some lower leg or some upper leg rotation. But the ankles, they can come up. They can go back quite a bit. You do get a little bit of pivot in there. And he does have a really cool toe joint. So, the articulation overall is really good. I just wish there was more rotation in the legs um, and, in, and in the waist. Especially for a Spidey figure. He needs to be a little more agile than that. But, man, you can get him in some really cool poses. Um, and now I think I've figured it out. He's working a little better. Look, hands free and he's standing. So now that I've been playing with a little bit, um, I've kind of gotten a hang of posing him and, and, and getting him to stand and balance better. So I think that was just me being an idiot kind of thing. So articulation, really, really good. Uh, could be better, but could also be a lot worse. Whew. All right, let's take a look at accessories, and there are just a shit ton of them. Holy crap. Um, I I thought Bandai and Tamashii Nations came with a lot of accessories, but whoo-wee, look at that. Um, so let's start with the biggest thing, um, which, from what I understand, all of these Play Arts Kai come with this base, uh, which is really kind of cool, nice big base and stand. Uh, you can adjust this, you just kind of take this out of here and you can adjust it up here all right so you get some really nice posing options out of that now the pieces that came with it see how they're all kind of screwed in right here they came with washers to put on the ends of those but I found that without the washers they stay much tighter with the washers on every time you moved it they came loose but without it it stays tight man this thing is not going anywhere so I just kind of toss them to the curb. So it does come with this cool base. You also get this little tool to tighten all the bolts and stuff. Um, he comes with this other, it's not a base. It's not, it doesn't attach to that anyhow. Um, there's no pegs on it for him to stand on. There's nothing there, but it's just this cool little, I don't know, spider web thing. Uh, awesome it looks great i don't know what the hell it's for um, but it looks really cool so i guess i'll keep it i don't know turn it into a shield or something that might be cool i don't know but either way it looks pretty good i don't know what it's for but it looks great now he comes with just a slew of webbing options uh, so first he comes with this kind of splayed out web Right, which is kind of open so it's either shooting or it's stuck on something you can be hanging from there whatever it may be he also comes with three different web being shot all right so you have two of these shorter ones these are the exact same size um, but these look great man they got some nice blues in here and it's kind of this translucent material uh, this looks really really good uh, they're a little bendy uh, but I wouldn't get all crazy and bending them out and then he also comes with this fucking super monstrous long one. I mean, this thing is just, holy crap, it's long. 
that is big. Um, so if you really need him hanging or shooting a long distance, you've got this one. Now, what's really cool about all of these is on one end, they've got these little pegs. And on the other end, they've got these little holes. So in theory, you can take these two, plug them into each other, and create an even longer one. And then, then take both of those. Oh, the long one does not have a hole in it. I don't know if you can see that. The long one does not have a hole in the top of it, so you can't add any more to the end of that. Which, you don't really need to because it's long as it's on its own. But these two can peg into each other. Then you also get, and you see this one also has a peg on it. So, you know, you could take this, take this, peg that into there, so now you have that cool little contraption, which is pretty awesome. It also comes with these two kind of bullet spider web thingies. Again, same great materials on here, translucent white, uh, plastic in the middle with the white and then kind of blue down on the end. And again, you can plug these into here. So that way you get them shooting that with the bullet. And you get two of those. So tons of web options. Just tons and tons of web options. Now he also gets some great hand options. He comes with the tooth whipping hands. All right, so you got your nice curl in. Thwip, thwip, thwipping hands. He does come with two closed fists. Now these all have uh, the same level of detail on here. Great paint job, great sculpt, all that, so. Uh, so two closed fists comes with two kind of open palmed hands these are so he can hold on to his webs all right like that so he can do some swinging around God, I'm just throwing hands every damn where huh he also comes with two completely open palmed hands uh, for wall crawling or grabbing things whatever else and now he also comes with these two other thwipping hands, which kind of have this webbing kind of shooting out of there. And if you see, it's got a hole on there, so you can take any of these pieces, plug them in, put them on. So now it looks like he's shooting that out, which I, I think is kind of cool because, you know, instead of just dangling on there, they made these hands where these are sculpted in there, and that looks fantastic. All right, that looks really good. So we take that out. Put this on here so now it's you know the web shooting out you have the end you put the bullet on here I keep calling it a bullet I don't know what it is but and now you've got all that whole cool little contraption going on and you stick that on his hand and whew, there we go all right so tons of posing options out of this that looks really cool now all of these hands do have just a hole in it and you'll see that he's got just a peg there's no mushroom on the end of it so it is just kind of friction holding it in there and they go on well wrong side but they go on pretty well come off pretty easy I don't feel like I'm going to break them at all you see a nice long peg so once they're on there they will definitely stay well that one's taking a little longer to get on there but there we go all right so once they're on they will definitely stay which is really cool all right, so just tons of options. I mean, look at this, look at that, all of that. Well worth the money just for these options alone. All right, now as far as comparisons go, um, this line is, is kind of a weird size. He's about 10 inches tall, so it's not your standard six inch size and he's not your hot toy size. So. Here he is standing next to a Hot Toys Stormtrooper. You can see the difference. They stand at about 12 inches. He stands at about 10 inches, so he's a little shorter than that. Um, so they're kind of in their own line, so to speak, as far as size-wise goes. So you definitely cannot put these guys in with these guys. And here he is standing next to the Samurai Stormtrooper from Bandai and Tomashi Nations. Now these guys usually are about seven inches tall and again he's about 10 so whew, definite size difference there not going to play well together 
And here he is standing next to the Marvel Legends 6 inch uh, Spider Man Homecoming Spider Man. Big difference. All right, so definitely not going to play well unless you're doing some type of mutation type scene where he gets bigger and angular and just much cooler looking. Because I think he looks much cooler than this guy does. Um, so while this scale is kind of unique, um, I like this scale for a couple reasons. One, it's nice and big, so you can get some great details on there. Two, he fits in my camera bag a lot better than Hot Toys does. Now, I can get a lot more of these six-inch scale guys in my bag to carry around with me. Um, but when I'm looking for something unique to photograph, I'd like to have some Hot Toys with me, but they don't fit in my bag. He does. So that's just another plus for this variant uh, Play Arts Kyline. So. But scaling, definitely a little off. Okay, so my final thoughts on this guy are, man, he's badass. Um, I don't know what I was waiting for in picking some of these guys up because he is just completely awesome. Yeah, the scale is a little different. Yes, it's a unique style that you may or may not like. Yes, you can see the gaps in some of the joints and the articulation isn't the best. And man, it seems like I'm ragging on this character, but I am not. I absolutely love this thing and man, I can't wait to get more of these uh, in my collection. I have one more that we're going to go over and that is going to be the uh, variant Venom. Um, he looks cool as shit too, so I can't wait to open him up. Um, but uh, this might be my favorite line now. Uh, the details are just incredible. Um, the articulation is great. Not the best, but it's great. But it's not the best in a samurai line either. And that was my favorite line. Um, I think these variant figures have just taken over the top spot in my holy shit, gotta have it category. Um, so... If you haven't, go take a look at some of these guys. Uh, they're cheaper than Hot Toys, a little more expensive than your Samurai stuff. But, man, for what everything that you get with them and the level of detail and the paint and the sculpt and everything, beautiful. You can't go wrong. So, hopefully you liked the review as much as I've liked taking a look at him. Um, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for our next review, which will be on the uh, Play Arts Kai variant Venom. See you next time. Peace.